Okay, so today is Tori's third challenge. She has learned to keep her lines straight by using the different guides on the um, machine. And her ultimate goal was to make clothes. So we're going to start out with the first thing, first article of clothing I made. Um, and that was a pair of shorts. So, um, as most of you know, my grandma taught me to make patterns. Um, I'm going to tilt this down just a little bit. And I do have some that I keep. This is my pant pattern. It's my favorite pant pattern. I make this pattern for every pair of pants I make for work because the rear is a little bit bigger. The belly is hidden a little bit. It, it fits my body perfectly. And you can see these two things. This is the front. This is the back. Okay, a longer rear and a shorter in front. Um, so, and they go together nicely because you sew front to front and then back to back and then go from there. Um, so, these are my favorite ones and they're actually made off of these pants right here. I've tweaked them a little bit, okay? So, but the one thing that Tori's going to have to learn to do is to make her own pattern. So, and no, I don't cut my clothes apart to make a pattern. I know I've seen a hundred people do this, but you can literally find all the sides, lay that piece flat on the paper, and ball all the material up for the other parts on top of it. So, um, I'm going to show you in a smaller version, but basically, you're just going to sort through one, you know, this is a long pair of pants, but let's, let's do this. So, this used to be one of my favorite pairs of shorts, and I kept it because it's, but I've noticed that as my body changes, um, you can see the front is shorter, okay, the front crotch comes way up here, um, which is fine. It fits good, but what I don't like, like is the legs. I need it longer in the legs. This balls up in my thighs. So, um, but if you look, my favorite clothes have a bigger rear and a shorter belly. Okay. So when I'm looking at this, I'm going to take and say, okay, this piece is the piece that I need. Okay, it is actually easier to do inside out. So, I now have my front, and I can see every stitch. Okay, so that piece is going to be laid flat, and then all of this is going to ball up on top, and you're just going to lay out this pattern. Patterns don't have to be paper. I prefer to do them on paper first because they, once I make the pieces, it's easier to see where I'm going, okay? Uh, what I'm doing with the paper. So, and I tend to use newspaper or brown paper is my favorite just because I have it. Um, but as you can see, once I get all of these edges out, I have this up here. I'm not paying attention to where everything else is, everything else is just balled up. So I've got this and I lay it out and this is my pattern. Okay. Now you got to remember to add on how much ever the elastic waistband is. I just, I just add on a bit. So I would cut this out right here after I did this and I would mark it front back. Um, now you only have to want do one front piece and one back piece because they mirror each other. Um, and it's literally four pieces to do this. Uh, but you can see this is about an inch, so we'd add on an inch, you know. And remember that the elastic is square, so you're going to pull it out, you know, and you're not going to follow it in like this. You're going to pull it out to where the uh, fabric is straight and do it. I just kind of guesstimate. I use a ruler and I, I push this 
I'll put the tip of the ruler right in here and I'll just do it like that and then I'll hold that and the tension it goes flat in here and then I can push it down and it'll hold this out and I just kind of shoo, across there okay so it's not hard let me see if I too much there we go it's not hard to make a pattern you just have to see your clothes in in uh, shapes and it's pretty easy so anyway so this is how I'd make this short pattern draw it onto my uh, brown paper and then cut it out okay so let me get this one this is one that I've done roughly off of the pajama pants that I want to do now do I love these pajama pants no I do not I will show you why um so here is the pajama pants that I am that goes with this set that I'm doing and as you can see the front and the back are exactly the same does that mean it's going to fit me no no it is not but they are pajama pants and if you wanted to make it super simple you could just make it loose around there and and make it big enough you know these right here these are old pajama pants and there were some of my favorite pajama pants the pants didn't fit me very well the elastic is too narrow you can see here that it is all stretched out and yeah I've taken it in as much as I can um, so I was going to do this actual the actual pants for this and basically I folded them up I laid them down now I do go a little bit bigger because first off these clothes that I'm mimicking don't necessarily fit me anymore um they just have stretched out to fit me if that makes sense so and I know I have four here and I like to go right here and I've already drawn this one out I've drawn this a little bit bigger because I want it a little looser in the crotch area and I also have added on my elastic and I did the whole pant um, all the way down but I think I'm going to make it like knee length shorts so I probably will cut it off like right there but I haven't decided that part yet so Tori's homework for this project is we need to see her pattern okay all I have to do is finish cutting this out this side of my length and then we are going to talk elastic now um she's got to get her elastic let me see here I need to start cutting this is all I have left to do on this pattern for these pajamas is cut it out do not use your good sewing uh, scissors for your pattern making all right and as you can see I make them just a little bit bigger uh, it is easier to take them in than let them out if you don't have material on them so you just want to make sure that you are making them big enough that um, and like I said I have a ton of this brown paper so that is what I use and it seems to hold up I mean I've got them with pins marks in them I've got them with you know I don't know just about everything I have taped them back together I have duct taped them I have I have duct taped them so that the brown paper will be big enough to make a pattern okay but remember you do need to make them bigger because even if you're making them the same size you will need a quarter inch seam allowance so I tend to make mine bigger I like my clothes a little bit looser kind of thing um, and then all I have to do is decide how long I want these uh, and like I said this one that I'm making is 
it's a pajama pants so it is all four pieces are the same if I wanted to make it fit me better or in the rear or whatever I could change and do you know the front back elongate whatever but I'm not gonna do that this is pajama pants keep it simple so now I just got to figure out how long I want them and since I definitely want them to be short um, although I haven't decided that yet, I, I may actually make them pants because I have a top to this and I'm replacing it. So I might just leave them pants. Huh. All right. I'm going to have to think on that. I think I'm going to leave them pants just for right now. Now, the other thing that I do do is I iron this. Um, I normally iron it before I cut it, but hey, I didn't this time because I'm trying to make a video. So, um, this will be iron flat and then this is this is just the ripped end and I hadn't cleaned up that end. Alright. So the last part of Tori's homework is gonna be the elastic. Now once she gets her pattern made, hopefully she'll be able to find a pair of shorts or something that she likes and make a pattern from it. Uh, now, when talking elastic, there are a couple of things to remember. I know that thinner elastic, and you can tell I did this years ago, is cheaper, but it's also less uh, sturdy. Um, it's the thinner it is the more stretchy it is and by that I mean it thinner does not hold up your pants very well okay this is thin because I used to run around the farm in them and just I didn't care um, I wore them to bed a lot so this one is a really thin elastic which is about that thin right there it's not even the whole casing it literally is right there I want to say it's an eighth of an inch no, quarter maybe a quarter of an inch I think a quarter of an inch I don't know it's some, this is a half inch okay and as you can see it has lost its stretchy but that too is because it's um, over time this is older than that but if you really want something good, it's what I use on my pants, and this is one inch, okay, and it keeps my pants up pretty good. So depending on the look, now this is just elastic, and then they've every quarter inch they did a row of uh, stitching around it to make it look fancy and to hold it in place. But it's just an inch. Um, elastic so the wider the elastic the better it keeps its shape um and you want to take that into account now can you do shorts with you just saw i have pants that i do because this is for um sleeping or whatever and like this one right here is my little run around they're falling apart they're horrible but i used it in there and it did just fine Okay, especially sleeping shorts. Yes, it doesn't bind or bunch or anything. So, um, yeah. All right, Tori Marie, get your pattern made off of whatever uh, shorts you're going to make or pants you're going to make into shorts. And then um, get your elastic figured out. And we'll go from there next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.